fight, scratch, throw. You gotta do all three things, man. We already at a disadvantage as it is. You gotta go out here, man, and punch these dudes in the mouth from the jump. We only got six games left. But we got to lose. Every rep, go hard. Go hard for the man next to you. We hear it all the time. But we gotta do it. Put it in the action, man. If you ain't got nowhere else to go after this, man, you ain't feel it. Go out there and go get some yours. If not, stay in here. We don't need you. We don't need you. Let's go. Any dogs in the house? 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 Chance, he'll field it at the two to the 10, moves left to the 15. Got a seam, 20, 25, got a block 30. He may go midfield, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. Oh, they got him at the four. The handoff to Webb, drives the left side, pushes to the goal line and got in. Touchdown, Commodore. against the four-man rush. Fires broken up beautifully. Ryan White puts the hammer down at the 34-yard line. Kick on the way by Openshaw, and it is good. Georgia brings the blitz. They set up the screen. Webb with some room. 40, 35, cuts it back 30. Goes back outside 25, 20, 15, 10 yard line. Flashing him up the middle and powers into the end zone. Chubb lines up and now McKenzie back in the tailback spot behind him in the eye. They'll toss it to McKenzie, running right, and he's dragged down. I don't think he got there. I don't think he got there. The tackle is made, and it depends on the spot. Vanderbilt's defense thinks they've made the stop. What does David Smith, the referee, say? They'll bring the chains all the way across the field. A tremendous play by Zach Cunningham, who brought him down from behind, and I don't think it's even close. The chains come all the way across the field. They'll stretch them out. And it is Vanderbilt football! Oh my goodness! And now, fans... How in the hell begin to you head lose to, the to Vanderbilt There's at home? home. There's the knee. Coming. All the fans can do is watch the clock run down. And Kirby Smart and Derek Mason We'll meet at midfield, but right now Mason in a little bit of a celebration being mobbed by teammates for his first ever Southeastern Conference road victory. And Vanderbilt has reigned all over Georgia's homecoming parade today.
seems like a long time ago, don't it? <laughs> Oh, that seems like a long time ago. Like a lifetime ago to me. <sighs> and it, not even, I, I mean, well, you know, Vandy fans have been forgot about that. It's, it's some of these other people, you know? Tennessee fans, uh, you know, Florida fans, Barner fans, corn dog fans, Dave. Uh, that like to bring that up still. <laughs> What's happened since then though? I mean, that was in 2016. We still looking like that? I don't know, I don't remember. <laughs> it, oh, Auburn fan though. Auburn fan talks about that all the time. Why? Listen, a really, really good program can lose to a really, really bad program every once in a while, right? But the here, but the, here's the thing, though: you have to look at it over the long haul, right? You know what I, you know what I mean? Uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, example, Barner, uh, you lost to Central Florida last year, and yeah, that's funny. But if Auburn and Central Florida played. 42 times over the last 100 years, Auburn would be way up in the series, right? I mean, that's what you would expect, right? Because over the long haul, a better program is going to beat an inferior program. I mean, you know, that makes sense to me. But explain this then. How many games? What is that? Forty some games, and you're even. The barn and Vandy about even. So I don't understand. You know, pointing two years back in the in, in the past. Uh, oh, here's another one they like to say too, and and this is one of my favorite ones. And and you have to pay close attention to how they word this one here. Now, it's how they word this one here. Listen, what, what am I gonna do? Trash talk Vanderbilt. They're not winning this game. But th so this is for the fans. Oh, 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 you know who this is for? This is for the who have Georgia play? Woo! Hey, woo! Who, who the hell Georgia play? Yeah, 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 you ain't play nobody, woo! This is for those people. But then they want to point at the Vandy game from two years ago and point like, but listen, this is, they, they say this one all the time too, and this one is hilarious. And you got to pay, well, listen, words matter, right? Words matter. You use certain words for certain reasons, right? They love to say this one though, and I'll, and this is this is so funny, and you gotta pay attention to how they say. It, but it's what they'll tell you though: these, these barners, corn doggers, bubblegum cups. Long time. Uh, yeah, the gamecock. I mean, you name it. Uh, the, you know, uh, volunteers <laughs> lost eleven straight SEC games. Well, off this week though, no loss. Anyway, I'm getting. I missed like five minutes ago. I, I start, tried to. I'm getting off the point here. Anyway though, uh, and two. Uh. <laughs> uh <laughs> What was I saying? Oh, you got to listen to how they tell you, how they say it. This is what they tell you. Hey, you! You! How many, how many, how many teams does Kirby Smart have a winning record against, Lou? Now, I know that they don't say losing record. This is Lou, let me tell you again. Pay attention now. Hey, you! Hey, you! How, how, how many teams does Kirby Smart have a winning record against, Lou? And you have to know why they're saying that. Kirby Smart's been a head coach for two years. Two years, right? So, it would it tell you, oh, you ain't, ain't got a winning record to Florida. Ain't got a winning record to Vandy. Uh, who else? Ain't, ain't Kirby Smart don't even have a winning record to Georgia Tech, woo. This is how they tell you because they've only they, he's only been here two years. But, you know, they don't say losing record, though. And the Barner fan can't even say winning record about their own team. How Kirby Smart been the head coach at Georgia for two years? That's it, two years. But he's already <laughs> he's already two and one. Already two and one against them, though. Oh yeah, the SEC championship. 
I'm gonna snort some cayenne pepper up my nose. But so yeah, winning record against the bar, no. But yeah, so year three now. So uh, let's see. So we'll have a winning record against Vandy after this year. We'll have a winning record against uh, Kirby. I'm talking about winning record against Tennessee now because we beat them. Uh, we'll have a winning record against Georgia Tech. We'll have a winning record against Florida. Oh uh, yeah, you know, still looking for that 2008 offense, and it's nowhere to be found. Jesus Christ, man. Florida come out average 13 points a game against the only two good teams they play, Kentucky and Mississippi State. Jesus, man. Damn Mullen. He's a Florida man, though. Get that thing turned around, man. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, so, yeah, I don't know what you think. I'm going to talk about Vandy, but, I mean, here's the thing. Listen, uh, they still point at this 2016 game. Man, that was two years ago. And, hey, listen, uh, for the haters out there, uh, I was making videos back then, too, and I jumped all over Kirby for that one. Uh, uh, a lot of what went wrong in that game was on him. But, listen, first-year head coach made some mistakes. I think he turned it around all right last year. What y'all think about it? Uh, yeah, he did turn around. Won the SEC, played for National Tie, won Rose Bowl, made playoffs, too. Uh, yeah, Gus Malzahn still searching for his first trip to playoffs. Uh, yeah, in fact, every team in the SEC is still searching for their first trip to the playoffs, except – my Georgia Bulldogs and the Gumpers. <sighs> anyway, so, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to say about Vandy. I mean, look, uh, this would be humiliating. I do like that they put this as homecoming again this year. You know, what? You know, when you're a team like Georgia and, and you look at your schedule and you say, Jesus, man, it's 12 nobodies here. Season don't even start till the first week of December. And, yeah, that's true. You know, we're going to road grade everybody we play during the regular season, just, not, just waiting on the SEC uh, title game in Atlanta. I mean, the season don't even start till then. So you have to look for, like, you know, nitpicky things to motivate you, you know? So, you know, Tennessee beat us last time they played in Athens. So I'm sure, you know, you use that heading into the Tennessee. Oh, last time they came here, uh, they got their biggest win since 1998. And yeah, I can see, I can hear Kirby telling them now, yep, but, uh, yep, they still laughing too. Hail Mary, biggest win they've had since 98. Don't let that happen again. Because, I mean, the players are looking across the field going, what in the hell? Uh, you know, I, I mean, <laughs> well, that game was over when the bus pulled up. What? That Tennessee game. But so, uh, Vandy, same thing, though. So, I can see Kirby now. Oh, yep, yeah, you let Vandy come in here and humiliate you in front of the alumni and everybody else on homecoming last year. So, you know, you have to look back. You, so, so listen, the fans, you know, the Barner, the Corn Dog, the Gump, the Gamecock Roach, uh, you know, the Voltard. Uh, you know, they can point at that 2016 Vanderbilt game and laugh, and that's fine. We're pointing at it, too, as motivation to come out here and comp uh, completely just murder, you know, road grade, um, you know, whatever you want. We're going to mud hole Vandy. I mean, th this this is going to be brutal here. Georgia could win this game by 45 points if they choose to do it. We'll see if they do. I don't know. Uh, what they do in the second half. I'd like to see uh, Justin Fromm come out, sling the ball around in the first half, get him a couple of touchdown passes. And I'd like to see Fields come in in the second half, and I'd like to see them let him throw the ball around too, see if he can get him a couple of touchdown passes too. That's what I would like. What I would not like uh, is to be winning 35-6 to six or something like that at halftime uh, and then have Justin Fields or whoever else come in and hand the ball off 30 times, in which case we'll probably win the game by, you know, 28 or something. Uh I'd rather win it by about 45, though, and two. But we'll see. But anyway, I, I, I mean, Bandy knows. Uh, but, you know, it, you could, I mean, I, I keep making this offer, and every single team has taken me up on it so far. I've yet to have a team not show up. But Vanderbilt, come on down. Athens, more. hey, for a night game, rare night game uh, for Georgia. Uh, now, we're supposed to have one earlier in the year. Uh but, you know, because there was a 5% chance of rain the day after the game, they had to move the thing up to noon for no reason at all. But I digress. Uh, yeah. Uh, night game. So, yeah, come on down. Get you a dinner or or whatever. A small dinner, though. You know, don't anything too heavy before the game. It's your peanut butter and jelly sandwich or something. Maybe an apple would be good, too. And, uh, you know, you show up around there at Sanford Stadium down there. Get yourself warmed up. Georgia will be there uh, waiting uh, for you. Uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, come on out. 
you can, you know, size us up, whatever it is, what you do, do your little warm up, your little calisthenics, or what you do before the game. And if you decide that you think you want to go ahead and go through with the game, and we'll, we can discuss a running clock or whatever you want to do in the fourth quarter if you decide you want to play this game. But if you decide you want to go ahead and go through, uh, go through with it, uh, then, then you know, let us know, and uh, we'll start the game up, and we'll humiliate you. So if that sounds like a plan, if that sounds like something you want to do, come on down. Uh, nah, it's Sandy. I ain't gonna do that. Nah. Okay. Come get you some, bitch!